By the end of this video, you should be able to identify and describe the European origins of the Constitution by analyzing the impact of three important philosophers. So you're going to want to have your notes section open, write down the important information. Of course, if you have any questions, please see me. Feel free to hit pause anytime you need to. So we discussed Shays' Rebellion and how under the Articles of Confederation, the federal government didn't have the power to really exert control over the states. And the government realized it needed to revise the Articles of Confederation. So they started to work on the Constitution. And the Founding Fathers have some ideas for this new Constitution, this new document, which will tell the United States how the government operates. But what is a constitution? You might see the word constitution written with a lowercase c, or you might see it written with a capital C. If you see it written with a capital C, we're talking about the United States Constitution. But many different countries, and indeed states, have constitutions with a small c. And this is uh, any document that, again, discusses the role and responsibility of government. So a constitution is a set of basic principles that determines the powers and duties of a government and the rights of the people. Very, very important. You're going to want to make sure and write that down in your notes. And if you hear about a state constitution, for example, Maryland has a constitution, as does Florida, as California. Uh, other countries have constitutions, Great Britain, Germany, France, Japan. They have their own constitutions, and this is what those constitutions do. So feel free to hit pause and copy this into your notes. But where do the ideas from the Constitution come from? The men that wrote the Constitution really didn't come up with the ideas just out of the blue. They were able to look at Europe in the 1700s. And there were some very intelligent men and women in Europe during this time that wrote papers, they wrote books, they wrote letters on things like leadership and government and responsibilities and rights of citizens. This time period where there was a large amount of writing about this type of information was called the Enlightenment. You may have heard of it before. Now, when the Founding Fathers of the United States wrote the Constitution, they looked at three philosophers and what they said. And those ideas were taken from these philosophers and put together to make up our Constitution. These are all European philosophers one was named Thomas Hobbes, the other one was John Locke, and the other one was known simply by his last name, Montesquieu. Each one of these philosophers wrote papers and they wrote books, they wrote essays on government and how countries or states should function. So for this activity, what you're going to do is use your Constitution Study Guide, which should be at the table. And you're going to open up to pages 10 through 12, where they discuss each of these philosophers and how they contributed to the Constitution. And then what you're going to do is you're going to open up your notebooks and draw a graphic organizer that looks like this. Here's Hobbes. Here's Locke. Here's Montesquieu. And what you can do is show me your artistic capabilities and see if you can do a sketch of these men, just so you kind of know what they look like and who their names are. And then underneath, in all this section, you can use bullets if you want to. You're going to outline what they said that contributed to the Constitution. You're going to want to have at least five or six bullets per philosopher. 
and make sure that you print nice and clearly so you can read the notes and then we'll use this graphic organizer at a later time and further discuss the impact of Hobbes, Locke, and Montesquieu on the Constitution. Again, if you have any questions, please ask. I will come around and see how you're doing, give you some pointers, and when you are ready, you may begin.